Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, all of these um in in between period escapades have been really really funny lately. It's been it's been really funny. So uh, why not? Sinwara leaves the classroom as he loosens up his shoulders. I guess I go see him act like an idiot. I'm gonna follow behind him. Uh, um, Okazaki can't. Again? It happened again. Whatever. Yeah, just keep ignoring whatever that is. Whoever that is. Haven't I told you to stop this already? Not this time, it's different. You always say that, yet it always ends the same. It always ends the same. This time it'll be different. This time... Tomorrow suddenly lunches at Tomoyo. <laughs> Tomorrow, Tomoyo kicks him. Hi, Karamba! <laughs> oh, why Spanish? <laughs> why Spanish? Tomoyo kicks Tina hard against the wall with full force. Are you okay? Now look what happened. I'm sick to you for real. It hurts, right? So just stop this ready. <laughs> After spitting out some phlegm mixed with blood, he slowly gets back up. Heh, <laughs> come with me for a bit, Tomoyo. For what? Don't worry about it. It won't be far. Come on, let's go. Shonara starts walking. <laughs> He's acting no nonchalant. He just got fucking kicked to a wall. What a hopeless guy. Tomoyo follows after him. They walk straight ahead for a while and then turn a corner. And right there was the men's room. Bam. Far away I see Shonara flying in the air. Just what are you two trying to do? She returns dragging along Sinahara who now resembles a tattered dust cloth. On top of everything else, you even tried bringing me into the men's room. Those are limits how f there are limits how far you can go with your harassment, you know. Apparently you wanted to check. Check what? Whether you're a woman or not. I see. This is the first, to first time someone has ever said something so humiliating to me. I'm not part of this though. The only one who wanted to check is this guy. Even though you totally wanted to know too. Why would I even care? Not to mention it's obvious he's a girl to begin with. Even but you even wished me good luck. Wait, you let know, not good luck? That's right. All I was hoping for from the start was to see your pervertedness in action. You tricked me. Well, sorry about that, but haven't you had your fun now? I'm trying to appease Tomoyo. I see. Try, I say trying to appease it Tomoyo. I can't take it anymore. Huh? If that's what you think, just have it, just having you check it for yourself should do, right? Come. Tomoyo grabs my hands. What's this about? I wouldn't ever want him to do it, but you, I can at least tolerate. Overcome by anger, anger she pulls me along. What is she doing? She takes me all the way to some place deserted, and then finally lets go of my arm. Now just calm down already. How can I just calm down? Do you know how much of a shock that was to me? Here I thought at least in this school I was behaving like a normal schoolgirl. That's what you're so concerned about? Huh? In the past, you were incredible, incredibly wild. Compared to back then, you've actually got pretty meek. You knew? Just the rumors. Are they all really true? I don't know what kind of rumors you've heard, but they're probably mostly true. I was so frozen for the longest time. Yeah, but I'm no longer that person. I intended to change who I am. Nope, I keep pressing. But we found out that she actually didn't change. Well, I guess that wouldn't be quite, uh, wouldn't be quite the shock to her. Didn't you go on a rampage on the school grounds the other day? You should stop doing things like that. That was something that can be avoided. Those people, they were looking for me. What? Why did you? Do, what did you do to them? Nothing. I didn't do anything. I just warned them because they were hanging out right in the middle of the street. Is not that the natural thing to do? I don't think it's something a normal schoolgirl would do. But well, they were being complete. They were being a complete nuisance. Other people, even elderly people, were being bothered by them. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But when I told them off, they took note of my uh, of my school uniform and turned up at the school. If I left them as is, they just have continued to wait for me and bothered all the other students in the process. So that's why I had to fight them. 
You see, I had no choice, did I? I still think a normal schoolgirl would have just left it to the teachers. But that would be d bad too. I'm the one who started this, even if it was originally for the sake of helping others. Huh. <sighs> Am I supposed to say something like this? You have one tough road ahead of you. Ahead of you. That's all I can think of. What do you mean? What you think of as a normal this normal is completely off from the common sense of an ordinary schoolgirl. It may not seem like it, but I've actually been trying really hard. Though I'd have liked it if you had been less blunt about it. Despite everything, I'm pretty sensitive, you know. Sorry about that. I've got a bad mouth. But what are you actually even trying to accomplish by working so hard but to behave yourself? That's a good question. Her mood makes 180, and suddenly her eyes light up. Student, student council president. And well, it's not like what the idiot was saying to get popular with the men or something. I have a goal. Well, I wouldn't call it my ultimate goal in life, but you could call it my current objective. Quit beating around the bush. What is it? Okay, I want to join the student council. There it is. There it is. Cuban parcel. You think I'd want to join something like that? And isn't that far too small to ever begin with? Yeah, I guess so. No, not that. Although they do sound similar. A package then? Isn't that also too small? A crate then? Yeah, I could get in a crate. Seem satisfied. No, wait. Your reaction was pretty slow there. Stop it with the jokes. What I'm entering is student council. Seriously? Why are you making that face? What face? That I don't want to have anything to do with someone like that face. How about this then? That's an I don't want to have anything to do with someone like that, and I'm desperately trying to hide it face. I guess I can't just bring myself to lie. I see. She openly drops her shoulders after sure disappointment. What's wrong? For some reason, it's easy talking to you. If you don't talk at all, isn't it mostly Sunara you talk to? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it's the atmosphere you give off. There's something about you that my classmates or the guy those guys who came earlier don't have. Something that somehow makes it easy to talk to you. Why, thank you. Being told that someone like that doesn't want anything to do with me makes me feel dejected. It's good you're feeling dejected, though. That's a pretty strange thing to say. I mean, in this school, I'm a bad student. So if you're feeling down because of something like that, a bad student like me said, then that must just mean you're a good student, no? I see, so you're actually a bad student. Even after becoming a third-year student, I'm still fooling around like this. Don't you think that's bad? I had thought it was strange. I never thought that there would have been students like you in this school other than myself. I guess that's why I feel so calm around you. Well, I'm not as bad as you were long ago, but I guess we really are cut from the same cloth. Or for all the purpose, well, for all purposes, if you were aiming for the student council, you'd better stay away from people like me. It'd be bad if any of the teachers caught you hanging out with shady people. Don't teachers have nothing to do with the uh, nothing to do with student council? Well, that might be, but. For me, just the thought of being acquainted with someone from the student council horrifies me. I'm not part of it yet. I know. Start walking. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to go out of my way to make friends with you either. Where are you going? Where? I'm heading back. The bell's gonna ring if you don't hurry too. But you haven't checked it. Check what? Wait. You don't mean. That's right. Whether I'm a girl or not. You can just touch me and confirm it. Are you serious? Really serious? Of course. This is what I want. That was the most humiliated I'd ever been, you know. No, but no matter how you look at it, you're a girl. Maybe you're wrong. Am I? Well, no, you're not, but... It'd leave a bad aftertaste if you were just to come to terms here without actually checking. I can't agree with it. Let's just pretend for soon a heart sake that I touched you and leave it at that. I don't want to make you lie like that. So you want me to touch you? Of course not. What a complicated person. Complicated. That's right. A woman's heart is supposed to be complicated. Don't you think this is feminine of me? I ignore her and walk away. <laughs> hey, Okazaki, I asked you something. 
A woman's heart is complicated, right? Yeah, I guess so. So that means I'm a feminine, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> You're making fun of me, aren't you? Stopped walking, pinched her cheek. What are you doing? Soft and warm. It's the real deal. Of course it is. <sighs> How was it, Okazahi? It was soft and warm, the real deal. Seriously? Damn it! <laughs> man, I don't know whether I'm frustrated you know, now knowing she's a woman or whether I'm frustrated as a man. Man, get wrecked, dude. Fourth period ends and let's rake begins. She and I are still flat on the desk, completely motionless. You must have had a full day's worth of energy all, uh, energy all during this morning. Is he even alive? To see... I yank a few hairs from his sideburns, his body wiggles, wriggles in resistance. It looks like he's alive, but he shows no sign of getting up. Another choice to leave the classroom on my own. Hey, uh, Okazaki, is that gonna happen? Is that gonna happen? I eat lunch, we're doing class, but you and I are still there sleeping. I know that at least in your dreams, people still think you're cool. <laughs> I decided so to leave him alone. There he is. Okay. Well, it was you. It was you. Ryu. It was you. Well, yeah. As I sit down, the class president begins to talk to me. Are you going to stay here now? I won't go anywhere. Really? I just told you I won't. Why did you have to ask me something like that? And why is she being so pushy about it? Yeah, here. Oh, worksheets? These from homeroom? Y yes. Thanks. Reach my hand out to get the worksheet from Fujibayashi. Otherwise, stay slumped over. One fell soon, I grab the worksheet and crammed it into my desk. Bye. Do you need something else? Um, well... No, it's nothing. Fujibayashi returns to her seat, uh, with her shoulders drooped. I sigh as I rest my head in my hands and look out the window. Thoughts pass through my mind like, What do we have next period again? Sinohara is still dejected even after classes end. Dude, he's dead. While our classmates have started cleaning the area around him, he's still slumped deep in his chair, motionless. He doesn't seem to have the energy to, to do anything. Stay strong. He leaves Sinohara behind as I step out of the classroom. I'm alone now, so what should I do? Oh boy. That was fun. The, today was a fun day. Today was a fun day of seeing Sinohara get completely beat, beaten to a pulp between every period. Um, let's waste time inside the school this time. There aren't any places to go hang out and have fun at school, though. I guess not. I go through the corridor and arrive at the old school building. If I want to waste time here, I guess I'll have to do it in the library. Just then, I hear the rattle of a door opening and closing. I don't sense anyone around me. As far as I remember, this floor is full of empty classrooms. Is someone there? I look inside the closet door. No one there. But it does seem like quite a comfy place. Does I think this? I really do start to feel sleepy. Alright. Um. Let's sleep. <laughs> Don't have any money to play around with anyway. Decided to take a nap. Thunk. I assume that the room would be empty. But a young female student sits near the windows. Oh. Who is this? Oh wait, I recognize what those are. I know who she is. The sunlight pouring is prevent and prevents me from getting a clear look at her face, leaving only her silhouette visible. She's carving a block of wood with a knife. Um, should I leave? I don't think um, it's safe to be in this old abandoned school building with a girl just um, making something with a knife here. Her concentration seems to have erased my existence completely from her senses. There's something irresistibly cute about the way she's working so hard on it. For a while, I just stand there watching. Ah. Her hands stop as she finally notices my presence. Her eyes meet mine. She freezes. What's wrong? What? Suddenly, she jumps up and runs towards the corner of the room. She reminds me of a cat caught trying to steal food. Except the cat probably wouldn't be clutching a knife the whole time. Not to self. 
don't surprise the girl with a knife, you may end up getting stabbed. That's a good note to self right there. Yep, holding her ground, she cautiously watches every move she can still can as can be. I find it funny, wondering if she's trying to hide by standing perfectly still. Better yet, she's in the corner of the room. Effectively the most visible spot in the whole place. Well then, what should I do now? Very cheery music too. Um, I guess we'll try talking to her. Say, is this the art club room? Uh, hey, I'm talking to you. She reluctantly points a finger at herself and tilts her head to the side. Yeah, you, as if there's anyone else here. She raises her index finger. Maybe she wants to me to repeat the question. Is this the art club room? Still standing tightly in the corner, she shakes her head nervously. All right, other club members would be here if it was. So do you just skip too many art classes and end up with piles of homework? Something like that? She shakes her head again. Then, it's just a hobby? She shakes her head again. Then, just what on earth are you doing here? Do you mean this? She knows. She shows me the wooden block she's working on, holding it in front of her chest. Yeah, that. This is a favorite thing. What? Suddenly she has a euphoric look on her face. As if she lost, she's lost in her revere, dreaming up something really fabulous. She's so full of openings. With a few steps, I quickly close the distance between the two of us and proceed to take the knife from her hand. Ah! Relax, I'll give it back. Isn't it kind of dangerous using a knife like this? Now that I'm closer, I can see a bandage covering one of her hands. From the intense look she's giving me, I can tell she wants her knife back. You know, you should stop using this thing. What? Your hand. I can tell it's a mess. It's carving, w carving wood really worth cutting yourself up like that? It's a personal thing. It's not your concern. Give it back. Doesn't your hand hurt though? No. Liar. This is just a precautionary thing. Well then, shake my hand. Okay. Put a bit of strength into my grip. Ugh. In a flash, he pushes me away at a <laughs> and her distance reverts back to what it was before I took the knife. She's squatting down in the opposite corner now. <laughs> Looks like that really hurt. A few months pass. That didn't hurt. <laughs> On the verge of tears, she stands back in front of me. <laughs> Give it back. Can we shake hands again? No. Why? You've already shaken once, so that's enough. A handshake is not something you do more than once per time. Okay then, that makes sense. In that case, how about a high five? High five? You know, like in sports, when a player scores a point or something, their teammate raises their hand and they clap them together in the air. We haven't scored any points. Okay, then let's pretend we did. Okay, here it goes. I awkwardly take a free throw of hose and toss the air ball to an imaginary basket. And it's good. Come on, raise your hand. Okay. Clap. <laughs> this is a high five and more assertive slap, really. Uh, <laughs> once again, she pushes me away and runs towards the opposite corner. It should have hurt more than the handshake. We were literally hitting each other's hands. A few moments pass. That didn't hurt. <laughs> she stood before me with the trails of tears on her face. Give it back. Like a handshake, we can do high pipes as many times as we like. And it's in there. Now raise your hand. Okay. Clap. Ah. There she goes again. That's why I've been telling you. Stop carving until your hand's completely healed. I put the knife into my pocket. Give it back. She just won't give up. Be patient until your hand is healed. You can't make anything good with that injury, right? I don't know why you're pushing yourself so hard. But he better if the final product of his is in perfect condition, right? But it's not enough time to wait until it's healed. The teacher who gave you this assignment must be a real tyrant. No, this is a personal project. And there's no problem. Just give your hand a rest for a bit. <clears throat> That's it, I leave the classroom. Alright, so we just we <laughs> we hurt we hurt this girl and then stole from her. And that was it. From the corridor, I look back in the classroom. She's still standing there, looking down helplessly on her half-finished work of art. Her tears are starting to burst out. 
Maybe that was a bit too mean? I think it was. But only an idiot would try to carve with a hand like that. Take it better, you should take better care of your body. Overworking an injury could lead to a permanent damage that you'll regret the rest of your life. I understand that better than anyone. Tsk. My drowning my drowsiness suddenly disappears. I can go home, then go to the shopping arcade. Once it gets dark, I guess I'll just go to Sierra Hara's room. And just have my usual routine. Just as I walk in the hallway, into the hallway of the dorms. Thud -dud -dud. The ground begins to rumble again. Move it! Some rugby team idiots shove me out of the way and rush by. Hey! Miss Isan comes trudging after them, but once again, she's just a little too slow. They've already escaped to the safety of their rooms. Oh, I can't believe them. Did they ever learn to clean their plates? Everyone had to treat them like elementary school kids and treat them into eating their veggies or something. I guess I can skip this. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to her. I told him it's sad and you're too busy on too easy on them. And of course, Tsunahara gets even more destroyed. Oh, oh wait, oh, uh, 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 uh. Alright, here we go. Midway up the hill. I see a girl standing there, staring into the sky. Face I recognize making me stop instinctively. What's the matter, Okazaki san? Is that a friend of yours? No, not really. Let's go. Who was it? But who was it? Soon the comes to school right when first period ends. Hey, morning. You're really early too. Yeah, uh, you're early today too, huh? Of course. Can't just let it end like this. Puts his down his bag. Let's go and get some revenge. Revenge. Nibbly turns around. You can't beat her, you know. And like I said, revenge is revenge. That's only if I fight her directly. It's not like I plan to have an honest fight. There are many different ways to win. If you just use your head. Why don't you use your head for studying instead? Nice. Nice rhyme there. Cool rhymes. Well, just hear me out. I've got a great idea. Walk with me. I'll explain. Sonara says as he walks out of the classroom. <laughs> Come with me, man. <laughs> came back. <laughs> what now? I'm getting tired of you. That's great. <laughs> well, just hear me out. I've got a great idea. Walk with me and I'll explain. Quit repeating yourself. My plan is psychological warfare. Don't try so hard to use complicated words. They're not complicated at all. Listen carefully, alright, Okazaki. He grips my shoulder firmly, urging me. Uh, alright, I'll listen, so let me go. You're creeping me out. Why is she so serious to begin with? That's what I've been thinking about. Once again, he starts walking. And what was your conclusion? It's a man. What? In the end, she's just another girl. She must have started showing some interest in the opposite sex since she's, this, she's that age. In other words, she came to this school in order to find a wonderful boyfriend. can she just find one at her old school? Maybe. But... Once you prefer one who's intelligent and has good prospects for the future, she's already thinking about the future, huh? And so males are all she can think about, meaning that those are her weak point. So concretely, uh, what are you gonna do? Seduce her? I'll just butter her up and have her dance in the palms of my hand. With with that, she'll be in a weakened state and she won't be able to fight anymore. You're an idiot, aren't you? Why? Isn't that a great plan? Well, you can do whatever you want, I guess. No, that just won't do. Because this is where you come in. What? Aren't you two pretty close? Compared to you, at least. In that case, give me some hints on how I can woo her and make her weak. Yeah, this guy really is an idiot. Anyone could be able to get a girlfriend without any trouble if that was actually attainable knowledge. Oh boy. I mean if we accept, do we just fuck with him? Cause I'm I'm all I'm all for messing with this guy. Even more. Um eighteenth. I guess we'll accept. However, it sounded like it would be fun, so I accept. Well if you insist, then I guess I have no choice. 
Yeah, please do. Make sure it goes well, right? And be serious about it. Oh, I'm completely serious about this. We end up in front of classroom 2B. Sunahara stops a girl who's trying to enter the classroom and asks her to go get Tomoya. Tomoyo. After a short while, Tomoyo shows up. Unimpressed already. What? You again? Haven't you had enough already? She looks at Tsunahara with narrowed eyes. Not did no, today's different. The way I view you has completely changed. What do you mean? First to uh, first say something nice about how she's dressed. Like the other way, whispering something to Tsunahara so he only he can hear it. The thing you ha have on your head looks nice on you. Oh really? Thank you. Next compliment how she looks in her uniform. Your uniform looks really good on you too. Oh really? Thank you. But actually, you're creeping me out there. She fe she's feeling embarrassed. Things are looking good. You just gained 30 affection points. <laughs> what kind of number is that even supposed to be? Alright, next step. Stretch your arm and say, ah, you must be quite popular with all the boys since you're so beautiful. Make it sound natural. That's not natural at all. Just say it if you can. Damn it all. Hmm? What's wrong? I'm uh, just mumbling to myself. So I takes a deep breath. It looks like he actually pounds on saying it. Uh, he starts rushing. <laughs> ah, he must be quite popular with the boys and it's just so beautiful. Just, what is all this? I don't know whether you're honestly complimenting me or whether you're just ridiculing me. I don't know how, but the results are even better than one could imagine. Seriously? Except, while doing Hindu squats, say, ah, I'm actually quite desperately seeking a girlfriend right now. Make it natural. <laughs> Isn't it completely unnatural saying that while doing the Hindu squat? <laughs> For Tomoya, that's completely natural. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing, just mumbling to myself. <laughs> You know how it takes a deep breath? He's seriously going to do it. <laughs> Whoosh. Starts vigorously doing new squats. Actually, I'm kind of desperately seeking a girlfriend right now. No, wait. Does that line sound totally weird? Just say it. Don't you think that's the sentence itself was strange? Don't sweat small stuff. <laughs> and, and her cupboard's been blown. Her plan has been completely opened. She realizes because of you it had no effect at all. So it's my halt. If you have no business with me, I'm leaving. Not good. This is a critical moment. Take out your pants in order to lure her back. Alright. Uh, wait, no, what am I doing? Uh, you, you two are quite strange one, aren't you? Okay, let's use the killer pickup line then. Ah, I've been waiting for this. See, tell me from now on. Please make me breakfast every morning while striking a bowling pose. Alright. To the heart of mom's bowling ball to his chest. He then strides forward a few times and throws a ball on the beautiful form. Tomoe said, from now on, please make me breakfast every morning. Wait. Is there even any meaning to this pose? <laughs> no, not really. Don't make me do it. What? So you really are we're just really killing me? She knows it can't I guess it can't be helped. First one to strike wins. She the heart dashed towards her. Yeah. <laughs> Do the force twice kicks. This is a great place to save. I, I want this picture framed. Wait, 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 wait. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful picture right there. Look at that. <laughs> Kick him back. Ah! Kick him back towards Tomoyo. Combo created. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I almost died there. Sorry, new record. I just couldn't stop kicking after he kicked you back to me. Hey, you. The girl starts to approach Samoyo. Me? That's you. Are you in a club yet? No, I'm not. Yes. Why don't you join the judo club then? How about it? Appears that she noticed Samoyo's reflexes and now she's trying to recruit her. If we have you, we might even be able to win and go for the championship. Hmm. You have such exceptional talent. No thanks. She answers coldly and tries to leave. Don't say that, wait up. I told you, I'm not joining. 
I'm not telling you to join immediately, just quit being so persistent to walk down the corridor of the quarrel. That conceited bitch. To me, it looked like you were just caught in your trouble again, though. Oh, oh that, that's me. I'm Tomoya. Uh, to me, it looks like you're just causing your trouble again, though. What she's doing? What she's doing is calling, called Joy off. You're gonna regret this next time we meet. She can't hear you. Hear you, you know. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> it's lunch break. A crowd is forming in one corner of the classroom. Everyone appears to be lined up waiting for something. Oh, this is the fortune telling, right? We aren't there. Who knows? Hold on to the bread and juice box be my pot at the school. Store and gaze at on with Tunara. They're rather into it. Some of them are also so strangely dejected. I believe this is the class president's seat. Is there something we need to tune, turn in? Turn in? Fujibayashi's seat, huh? It's probably your fortune telling. No, there's Q. Uh, fortune telling, huh? Hey, why are you here? Huh? What's that? You mean I can't be here? N no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Sunahara withers under a glare. It's Kyo's Fujiyashi, uh, Fujiyabayashi classmate of ours last year. Uh, she's twin to her class president. I guess, I guess we could just skip this. Boop. I mean, it's great to see you again, Kyo. 